What up, it's Shankster94, and welcome to another reaction video. So, tonight, I am going to be reacting to two new things for Resident Evil 4 Remake. First, I'm going to be reacting to the second trailer that was released, and I'm going to be reacting to the gameplay footage that was released. These were both part of the recently released Resident Evil showcase that a lot of people were anticipating. So real quick, that showcase also included a lot of content for Resident Evil Village DLC, specifically the Winter's Expansion Pack, and it included content for RE-Verse, which I know is another piece of content that I like never reacted to or whatnot, but honestly, Honestly, since those two things are getting released literally a week from right now, I figure we'll just wait for the live stream that I'll do of those things when it comes out. And for now, I'm going to be reacting specifically to Resident Evil 4 Remake content, because let's be honest, that is the far more important thing of all that's been shown in the Resident Evil Showcase. So I am super excited to react to all of this stuff, the trailer and the gameplay. I've been doing my best to avoid spoilers on both all social media, and I did a pretty good job. I only know certain things, like I know the fact that there's a trailer and gameplay content, but I don't know what to expect. So I'm gonna go into this somewhat blind and I'm gonna have a genuine reaction to it. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna watch through all of this uninterrupted first, and then I'll deep dive into it afterward and like discuss things that I saw and everything. So I hope you followed the time code. If you wanted to get straight to the reaction, these are all a lot of details. Let's waste no more time. Let's get into it. Here we go. First to react to the Resident Evil 4 second trailer. Oh, I'm so excited. Here we go. Rated M for mature. Uh, let's shift you guys. Oh, I hear the Castellans. The Zealots. Ashley, oh my god. Alright, cultists indeed. Or wait, is that even Ashley? Alright. Leon entering the village. Perfect. Ah, oh, looks so great. You're here looking for someone? Alright, that was the voice of Louise, obviously. Hey, some missing senorita? Hey! Wow, okay. He doesn't look bad at all. Uh, Ashley, of course. Sadler. Alright, let's go. The big cheese. Victorious Mendez. Oh! Freaking Plaga. Oh my god. Graham, are you in here? Just let me go. Listen. Oh my god, this looks so freaking good. What is that? We do. So good. We need to go. I'm gonna get you home safe. That was Don you Manuel, can stop I believe. Right yeah. there. Ada. Ada. Who are you? What, what are you voice was here? that, though? My faithful disciple will show her the path. Ashley, run! El Gigante. Delago. Salazar. What's happening to me? <laughs> Coughing up now, the blood. Sadler again. In your body. Oh, Big Cheese full form. Oh my god. She's lost no matter what. How Ew. Oh my did. god. Sadler or Salazar looks terrible. In a good way. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh my god. Ooh. Oh man. That looks amazing. March 24th, 2023, pre-order now. Oh yeah, I gotta get my hands on the pre-order. Holy shit, okay. So that was the trailer, and yeah, they showed a lot of the stuff that people really wanted to see. More direct scenes of our favorite characters and everything, and the most memorable enemies, some of them anyway. Oh wow, I feel like the only iconic enemy we didn't get a glimpse of was uh, Verdugo, or Salazar's right hand man, or right hand, <laughs> but oh my gosh, they seem to be keeping pretty faithful to the original in a lot of ways, which is good, but it doesn't need to be one to one like some people want, it's an unrealistic freaking expectation, but oh my god, I am so excited. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and dive back into it and talk about it more specifically, so let's see. I'm just gonna skim through it. Okay, so 
these cultists, obviously, or the Ganados, which I'm pretty sure they are. This is that one area where the rituals take place. Both Leon and Ada wound up here in their scenarios in the original game. So I wonder if they're going to keep to that. Let me see if I can get a better look at this. So, okay, I don't know for sure if that is Ashley, honestly. That could just be a random victim about to be sacrificed or whatnot for all we know. I don't know. It's not a very clear look at them. Like, they look pretty battered. I don't, I really don't think that's Ashley. She, Ashley looks really good in the scenes we've seen of her. So, that woman, I don't think that's Ashley upon inspection right there. All right. Leon, of course. Let's see. The Ganados. Chainsaw. So, Dr. Salvador is back. Great. Maybe some missing senorita. Okay. Pausing on Luis here. He looks freaking good. If I'm trying to compare him to his original counterpart, there's some slight differences. The facial hair is a little thicker, and his hairstyle, it's probably not as long as his original counterpart, but those aren't negatives. I am digging the way Luis looks here. His outfit looks really awesome. All right, good stuff here. But it quite. Okay, of course, we got this scene of the church, the iconic church and the graveyard and everything. So we're going to see that again. I wonder if they're going to include the trope where you ring the bell and Ganados come swarming on you and everything. Excited There's to find that out. Cleansing. Okay, the freaking Plaga, man. I c See, we only get a shadow here, so we're probably not going to discover what it actually looks like until we see some gameplay footage or we get to play the game. But yeah, I, I cannot wait to see that in all its glory. Okay, right there obviously is when they injected the Plaga Parasite into either Ashley or Leon. I don't know whose eye that is right off the gate. Ashley Graham, are you in here? I love how this scene is like almost exactly like the original. Here in the president's quarters. And Times are scared. It's obviously a little screenshot of Sadler. You can stop right there. Okay, if I am honest, I love Ada's look, of course, but I did not like her voice. That is my honest opinion. I did not like the sound of that voice. It doesn't sound anything like Ada Wong of any rendition of the past. I understand you gotta make some sacrifices in the game industry and the voice actors probably couldn't come back for whatever reason, but come on. It didn't sound like they were even trying right there. It's just my honest opinion. You can disagree. But yeah, I do not like how Ada sounds. Who are you? What are you doing here? We got Luis again, my of course. Show. And yeah, people were speculating that was El Gigante, and they were correct, obviously. Holy shit. Looking amazing, man. The Actually, Ari engine what? kills every time. Del Lago, of course, man. This whole sequence is very reminiscent of the original. Oh my gosh. It's like, dude, I can't wait. The big cheese, of course, in full form here. We only get a like half of his body, but it's it's good enough to see just how closely related it is as it is Please to the original. The She's lost no matter. Yeah, again, Ada looks beautiful. I love the outfit they decided for this game. <laughs> Salazar, okay. Now it looks even more convincing why Leon thought he was an old man. Honestly, he's only 20 years old, and he looks like that. Yeah, that is insane. The Plaga really did a number on him. <laughs> New Leon looking great here. It's obviously six years later since the Raccoon City incident, but he has that same shape and the chin and everything and i understand nick apostolides is voicing him again he's probably trying to throw his voice to make him sound a little older but yeah oh, you gotta be kidding me yep <laughs> and this man so they're gonna show a scene apparently where ashley is coming under the influence of the plaga and she actually holds a gun that's a new one. I love that because a lot of people, including myself, I'm pretty sure, wish she could wield weapons. I wonder if she'll actually be able to wield a weapon at any point. And if we get to control her, we should be able to. That, that better be in here. Okay, I think I'm d done discussing stuff about the trailer. So this trailer, of course, was from the official Resident Evil channel. Unfortunately, they have yet, as of this moment, post a, the gameplay footage on their channel. 
But the great guys of Residents of Evil have posted a clip on their channel of the gameplay, and I will use that in order to watch the gameplay. So I'm going to switch over now to, yep, the Resident Evil 4 remake new gameplay footage. It's seven and a half minutes long, so I got to a lot, so I got a lot to absorb here, but I'm very excited. Just checking to make sure my commentary is still working. Yes, it is. And I'm still recording. Perfect. Let's get into it. Now to check out the gameplay of Resident Evil 4 Remake. Residents of Evil, shout out to you guys. You guys are one of the best Resident Evil channels in existence. All right. Leon entering the village right out the gate. All right. So obviously the very beginning portion of the game, and yep, we come across that first Ganado house. All right. I did see someone say already that basically this gameplay video is the first section of the game, just in its entirety. Maybe cutting out some slow parts, but Anyone yeah, home? that's the gist of it, which is fine. I am excited to see this. I'm a little disappointed it's not in 60 frames per second here, even though the video frame rate is set to that. But this gameplay footage is obviously not 60 frames per second. A very minor drawback, but I'm just pointing it out. We'll see the game in its all its glory, in all its glory, once it actually gets released. Oh, we actually go to the basement of the house or something like that? That's interesting. Yeah, Leon totally breaking and entering. Let's not forget, he's the criminal hill. Okay, well, he found a dead body, so he's not a criminal anymore. I read you. What's your situation? Oh, shit. What the hell's going on? Alright, he's gonna run into that first Ganado anytime now. Don Diego. Oh my god. No Holy shit, his neck is sideways. Break free, prompt, okay. Little melee move right there, that's cool. Alright. Holding the flashlight in his hand just like in Resident Evil 2 Remake. I love it. Ooh, new crouching mechanism, sneaking around. Okay, good stuff. <laughs> He's got to avoid enemies on his way out. Okay, so not really a casual interaction like in the original. It's not a bad thing. Ashley. Bruce. This is Gondor 1. Hunnigan here. What's oh my god, Hunnigan. Looking Fire. great. It's likely she's in this village. Our intel was correct then. Well done. Something's happened to the people here. Yeah, Nick Apostolides has thrown his voice a little bit. It's nice. Uh oh. Talk later. Oh man, going through the window, part of the cutscene now. Okay, cool. And now we're in daylight. So it was like dawn when he first entered the village, huh? This classic cutscene. Oh god. All right, let's see that gameplay. Man, <laughs> that almost looks like freaking. That looks like one of the bakers, actually. Bakers, actually. Kill me for the repairs later. All right, going into that one house. Are they gonna show the chainsaw Ganado next? Are gonna? Are, yep, of course. There's Doctor Salvador. Oh my gosh. Yep, same layout of the house and everything. Oh no. 
so it look I saw a prompt right there. So could he be a could Leon have countered that? That would have been awesome. He got the shotgun, of course, and everything. Woo! I am loving this. Oh, they can punch Leon. Oh man. Oh man. Oh, he can go crazy with it. Kind of like the Super Salvador. Yep, use the defensive items. Perfect. Holy shit. Break free, Leon. Oh. Oh, nice. Ground attack with the knife. Ooh. That's an amazing counter. All right, saw enough of that. Okay, now it's just replaying the trailer again. Okay, so I saw the gameplay. That's it. All right. Holy shit. I can't tell you guys how excited I am for this. Honestly, I don't even have to go back through it. I saw enough, and I was doing really good at keeping up with it and sharing my opinions as it was going on. Oh, my gosh. It's like, really, I don't know how much more they need to show before it comes out. I mean, we still got five months from this moment before it comes out, but wow, that was a lot to take in. And every single time I watched and read news about this game, my hopes just went through the roof and everything. Oh, I am so excited. So, yeah. I guess my only negative takeaway, literally, is Ada's voice actress. That is it. Everything else, I am super stoked about, and I am really happy with the creative direction they took this game in. I cannot wait to experience it, guys. Alright. Well, if I'm honest, I think that's going to be a solid conclusion to this reaction video. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Oh my god, I really enjoyed watching that. <laughs> I can't stop saying it. I am so freaking stoked and i am so happy this is coming just less than half a year from now cannot wait all right guys so that is it this is shankster 94 aka the gamer shankster rate comment subscribe i should really just start saying like comment subscribe rate hasn't been a thing for many many years on youtube so starting now i'm gonna start saying like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter at Shankster underscore 94. Check out my Facebook page and support me on Patreon. Shout out to Ophirgel the Fearless for being an active patron for a while. And shout out to these individuals for supporting me in the past and never giving me a hard time and just being awesome people even after you guys ended your support. And check out my Discord server, Shankster's Hub. It is a really good place for you guys if you're a Resident Evil fans and like just casually talking about Resident Evil. You don't get into nitty-gritty discussions. It's just casual talk and everything. It's a really great place for that. All right? Peace out. And I look forward to playing this game and seeing everyone's thoughts about it. And, of course, look forward to Resident Evil Village DLC and RE-verse content in the future. Have a good night, guys.